What is going on, YouTube? I am shooting a video, or I'm making this video for the fact that I just wanted to know a little bit more information about the 1AT uh, Generation 3 platform. I know these motors probably like people have tunes out for them and stuff like that, but I generally wanted to see what would be the better route because I was really looking into doing a bottom end rebuild and throwing, uh, throwing some power into this car, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't want to throw power at it right exactly how it is and then it blows up on me because I'm still kind of somewhat paying for this car and I do like this car a lot I could swap the motor true but it won't be it won't be the I don't know I'm trying to be different you know what I mean being different has its run of courses and stuff. I understand, like, not a lot. I don't see a lot of people do the builds on a 1AT Jetta or anything like that. I don't really see the Gen 3 being built or anything because they say it's like the problem, a problem motor. You know what I'm saying? But. I generally have faith in this motor. I just believe that from the factory, they probably did something wrong and it could be touched. It very well could be touched. And I think I might be the one that will fix whatever that problem is, wherever they went wrong. I want to be a, the one to go under here and resolve that issue, wherever it is. I just wanted to ask general questions if there is somebody out there with the same platform or same uh, year Jetta. It's so a 2014 SE uh, 180. Sixth generation Jetta, you know, I love the body style of it, curves, perfect, you know, that is really it for me, I don't have any car content today, I was just really, you know, trying to figure out what I should, what direction I should go with this car, I'm not for clout, I don't get on here for anybody to say any crazy comments or anything like that nine times out of ten I'll just block you or anything like that if you say anything crazy freedom of speech freedom of speech is perfectly fine but I'm not gonna tolerate it I'm not here for any negativity I'm a positive dude I try to do positive things. I do not claim to be anything that I am not. I do not have all the money like most people do out here. It's not really a dream of mine either. You know what I'm saying? But um, if I can get this car at a standpoint that I would like really really enjoy it and say I, I built this you know that's all I want out of this car that's really all I want out of any car that I've ever owned uh, just to drive it and enjoy it and build it that's it car I'm a huge car enthusiast you know I go out to any shows and videos cars and stuff out there that's what I did but you know I kind of wanted to space out and do my own thing I don't want to make videos about everybody else's cars I just wanted to do my own so I feel like this channel will blow up um, 
I just have to keep my consistency. And yeah, I genuinely hope and pray that uh, everybody uh, that is following me has a blessed day. Uh, thank y'all for subscribing to my channel. I appreciate you guys. Uh, let me know down in the comments or anything. Like if y'all have anything that would be helpful for me. That way I could like do the research or link something where I could do the research for you know, from the website you linked or anything like that. That would get me some type of interest for what direction I want to take this car in because I really believe that this car has the potential but nobody wants to wake nobody wants to awaken it and I haven't seen anyone with the 180 awaken it except for like the stage 2 or 1 tune. I mean, it's fast, but it's not fast. This car, I feel like it was meant to be fast. It's fast enough, but it's not. But I mean, technically it's not. You know what I'm saying? I want to wake it up a little bit. So, I feel it's right. Um, with that being said, guys, y'all have a blessed one. I'm checking out. My name's The Car Enthusiast.